So why do I use running shoes to do longboarding and not skate shoes? Well, it all started in June of 2020. But before we get to June 2020, we got to kind of go back in time, turn the tables back a little bit to March of 2020. <laughs> So March was kind of when I began to take YouTube really seriously. I would start uploading twice a week. I was practicing longboarding all the time. I had a set schedule, you know, and I was delivering. This was around the time that I bought my first pair of skate shoes ever. They were the Nike SBs. They're gray, they have white sole bottoms, really awesome shoes, pretty comfortable I'd say for skate shoes in general, really good for skate shoes. Unfortunately, I learned the hard way they are not very good for snow skating. Because it was March, there was still a lot of snow on the ground in Minnesota, and I was still using my snow skate pretty frequently, but as I soon realized, that was not a very good idea because the studs on the grip tape of the snow skate completely tore through those shoes. I got giant rips and tears and holes all through the tops of them and they became kind of useless. I pretty much just had to go buy a giant thing of duct tape and just wrap duct tape around these shoes just to hold them in place because I'm and you know like I don't care like you know whatever if duct tape's what I need then duct tape's what I'm gonna get I'm not gonna spend more money on shoes that I just bought so that's that's what I did but uh then well about a month afterwards I was trying to do tricks on my dinghy because I recently purchased it. And let's just say that didn't end very well. I was trying to ollie off of a little ramp kind of thing, maybe about, maybe that tall or something. And I did not land properly and I sprained my ankle. And this was no ordinary ankle sprain. This was a really bad one. It lasted almost five or six weeks, I believe, if I got that correct. It was a nasty ankle sprain. It, it sidelined me for over a month, it sucked. And because of that, I had had to wear this really really annoying ankle brace on my ankle it was really big and kind of bulky and just kind of annoying to have to wear but because of the size of the ankle brace i literally could not wear my skate shoes to do any longboarding any skateboarding anything because they just wouldn't fit so i had to settle with Nike Pegasus running shoes because these were the only shoes I had that actually fit. I think the ones that I started with were black. That was my old pair. Now I have these red ones, but that's what I had to get by with because they were the only shoes that would fit my ankle brace. All right, we all cut up now. Good. Back to June of 2020. Being forced to wear running shoes rather than skateboard shoes was, it was not a choice, it was a necessity. I had to do it. And it was, it was kind of weird to be honest. You see, running shoes, they're a lot different than skate shoes. They don't feel the same at all. They have more cushion, their soles are generally less durable, they're lighter, and they're just not really meant to take the kind of abuse that skate shoes do, you know, when you have the grip tape and your shoes sliding on them, they're, they, they'll get torn up easily doing that kind of stuff on a skateboard. But there is one thing about these shoes that actually makes them a viable and enticing option over skate shoes. But first, let me bring up a hypothetical list of things that would seemingly do really well with longboarding and these shoes. First off, these are running shoes. They're meant to be ran with, right? That's that's literally what they're made for. And you know, skate shoes, they're not meant for that. They're meant, you know, you can maybe run like 50 meters in them, but anything more than that, your feet are gonna hurt a lot. They're heavy, they're clunky, there's no support. They're not meant for doing running. And surprisingly, I found out this is not really a good thing, especially for longboarding because a lot of tricks that I've learned through longboarding, if I fail an attempt and mess up the trick, I kind of stumble forward almost into this run. I kind of run off the stumble so I don't just fall and crash. And surprisingly enough, it is there's a lot of running involved in just the failure aspect of longboarding, if not the other aspects. Just being able to kind of catch myself when I stumble and fall and kind of run it off is really helpful for me. And when I would do that with my skateboard shoes, it would make my feet really tired and really worn out really fast. And that's not a really good thing because it means I can't have as long of skate sessions as I would like because I just can't, my feet hurt too bad. So that was really surprising for me. The second thing is the cushioning of the shoe. I was actually surprised to find this a benefit because the cushioning makes the shoe feel a lot different than skate shoes and not necessarily good for skateboarding. But for longboarding, I was pleasantly surprised to find out that it actually helps your longboard dancing a lot. See, longboard dancing involves very meticulously planned and calculated footsteps on your board. And 
your feet, you know, they cross step a lot. They're twisting and turning a lot just to do these motions for your dance steps. With skate shoes, because they don't have a lot of cushion, it makes your feet really sore and really tired because, you know, all these steps, it's kind of like walking and running in a way because of just the motion of your feet. And because skate shoes are meant for running and they don't have a lot of cushion, they're honestly not that great for that. So I was very surprised to find out that these shoes are really great for dancing. Now, keep in mind, I do actually have flat feet. So maybe the reason my feet were getting sore from skate shoes is because of the lack of like support even though even though these ones don't really have that much support either so i don't know how valid that is i just want to throw that out there because maybe my experience is different from yours but it's just something to note i guess you know maybe keep it in mind maybe don't you know whatever you really want to do with that but um another thing the cushion helps pushing the board which is really surprising to me so with longboarding generally a lot of the times you're going to be going farther distances than skateboarding because you know the skateboard's more limited to skate park and smaller areas the longboard you can travel really far you have to push a lot more because of that that means your foot is going to be in contact with the ground a lot more just like in running and walking which makes the cushion really really helpful for that in my experience wearing skate shoes and doing this after pushing for about five ish five or six miles they get really tired being able to use the running shoes kind of extends that all the way up to eight to ten miles if not even more all right third reason the lightness running shoes are a lot lighter than skate shoes because they don't have rubber sole bottoms like Skate shoes, the entire sole of the shoe is basically a giant chunk of rubber to keep them durable and stuff when you're doing skating. Running shoes don't really have that. They're usually made out of foam, which makes them a lot lighter, which is good for running, but it's also good for longboarding because you feel more light. It's easier to push, easier to do dancing on, easier to do tricks. Just lighter shoes make things easier, you know? So lightness is definitely a benefit of running shoes. All right, so that's all cool and all, but like I said, how are these even viable? Because the bottoms are foam, right? So they're just gonna get destroyed. Well, although the sides are foam, the bottom has this really thin slick layer of rubber, which as you can see is only now starting to wear out after like literally a year of using these. So just this little bit of rubber is like all you really need for longboarding. It lasts a long time. And the reason these wouldn't be good for skateboarding is because skateboarding involves a lot of tricks where you're gonna be rubbing against the side of your shoe, which is gonna destroy this. But in my experience, what I found with longboarding is that I don't really rub against the side of my shoe much because all I really do is a lot of dancing and a lot of tricks involving using my hands to flip the board and stuff. Not so much using the side of my shoe. So this is honestly a really good option for me and I was really surprised to learn that. So yeah, the bottoms have rubber on them, but they're still a lot lighter than the skate shoes because their soles aren't completely rubber. They're mostly foam, which is really, really good. There you have it. That's why I wear running shoes instead of skateboarding shoes. It started because I got injured and my skate shoes were destroyed to literally having to be a necessity and then me finding out that they're actually kind of good. Now, I don't want to discredit skate shoes though. I think they are great for skateboarding. That's why the name, you know, skate shoes, skateboarding, but for longboarding in specific, I think running shoes are a really, really viable option. Now, obviously this isn't the, you know, say all, do all kind of thing. Honestly, do whatever works best for you. But if you do find skate shoes uncomfortable with your longboarding, give running shoes a try. And if you want to try the same ones that I use, these are the Nike Pegasus 36s. So check them out if you want. Don't check them out if you don't want. Anyways, that's all I got for the video. Hopefully you guys found this topic interesting. I thought it was kind of unique because I don't really see too many people using running shoes for their longboarding, but I do see a lot of comments that are like, why are you wearing running shoes? So I thought I'd finally address it. Um, if you like the video, if you like these kind of discussion-based videos and topics, let me know, drop it in the comments, or hit the like button, or subscribe, whatever you want. That's all I got for today's video. It's been your boy OG Den, signing out. I'm gonna see you guys on Wednesday for the next video. Peace out, have a good rest of your day. Bye guys.